Now, WordPress is the most powerful software out there for building websites. In fact, more than three quarters of the websites on the internet run WordPress. But the challenge is, WordPress is getting more and more difficult to use, especially for beginners, because now they've moved on to the Block Builder. Although the Block Builder is the right way forward, it makes designing websites much easier, but the learning curve is quite steep. Even I find myself, um, you know, a bit confused in some areas where I have to do a lot of research, even though I've been using WordPress for more than 10 years. So this brings an opportunity for page builders. So we have Divi, Elementor, we have Bricks Builder. For one moment, I actually thought that WordPress was going to kill the page builders. But where the page builders come in is where they make things much, much easier to build the websites. Now, what does that say for someone like you as a new designer? Do you try out all the page builders? Absolutely not. So in my opinion, what you need to do is to focus on one page builder. So this means that all your efforts is going to be on that one page builder. You need to learn it inside out because these page builders, I take them like mini softwares like Photoshop. It has a massive learning curve. But the reason why I'm suggesting that you go with page builders is because they have more functionality and they are much, much easier to use as compared to the custom WordPress builder, block builder. So now the question is, which one do you choose? I mean, there's, there's quite a few out there. So in my opinion, if you go with um, any one of these, it has to be something that you've tried out. Try it out because people have different tastes. It's like Android and um, iOS. Some people prefer iOS, some people prefer Android. It's not one of those things where you can say, yeah, go for DV or go for Elementor or go for Bricks Builder. No, it's something you need to try out and see which one, I mean, suits you or suits your workflow. Now, once you've done that, you need then to really learn as much as you can about that page builder. I would even go as far as saying, go and choose some of these groups that you can join so that you're up to date with the latest updates, technologies, and so on. Like right now, there's a big thing about AI. So if you're in those groups or you are in some communities where they're always up to date with these technologies, then it gives you an edge. So why am I talking about this? Now, a lot of you are buying uh, lifetime licenses for DV, Elementor, and so on. In fact, Elementor doesn't have a lifetime license. It's Bricks Builder. So when you purchase these, there is a great opportunity for web design skills because if you take a look at it, technologies like Starlink are really coming through. They are really spreading, which means they are going to be connecting even more millions of people out there, even in the rural areas. And a lot of these people are also going to need websites, especially anyone who wants to start a business. So if you want to really design websites, this is the biggest opportunity that you can get because you can start designing websites for upcoming businesses and as businesses are also closing down because quite a big number are closing down they are also more opening up every single year and as well as those who are also being connected so that means that the pool of people that are going to need uh, web design services is always going to increase and as the technology increases if you are uh, right up there, you are going to be the one that's getting uh, all these jobs. Now, it's easier said than done because how are people going to know about your services if they don't know who you are and what you do? And so this is where you need to combine these two things, the web design skills and also promoting yourself. And the best way to promote yourself is using YouTube. YouTube is very, very powerful. It's kind of like the TV, really, because it's on everyone's mobile devices, and they can have access to you pretty much any time. So I would say, as you're learning your web design skills, you also need to learn how to promote yourself. And YouTube, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, I didn't have confidence at all when I started my YouTube channel, but I got a lot of work and a lot of job opportunities because I advertised myself on YouTube. So people in my local area, uh, in the UK, Birmingham, they were able to access me come uh, to my offices, have meetings and so on because they knew who I was because I put myself out there. So this is very, 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 very important. Now, one other thing I want to touch on is WordPress itself, yes, it is powerful, but it's the foundation. 
okay? So as soon as you have a page builder, it just makes you build a nice website. What's gonna give you an edge is when you start using specialized plugins. These are the plugins that add functionality on top of the website. For example, a client may come to you and say, I need a booking website. They're not going to care if you designed it in Elementor, DV, Bricks Builder, uh, WordPress Block Builder, or whatever it is. It's still going to look very, very similar. The final result is going to look very similar. In fact, I don't think it's even clear to know whether a website is built using Elementor and uh, DV. I mean, you can't see the difference. So really, it's the functionality. So if, you have, if you're going to build a booking website, you need a plugin like Anilia or um, Fluent Booking. So knowing these plugins, in my opinion, is the next way forward. You need to master your, pay, your page builder and then work with specialized plugins which add even more functionality so that in the end, you have a website that solves a problem for the client. So this is very, very, very powerful. So as I mentioned, there's a lot of chaos out there. There's new uh, page builders coming up. There's new plugins coming out. So you need to stick with it, try it and test it. Now, what I've done is I've put, I've, uh, put this into consideration that things are going to grow, especially with the page builders. They have to innovate because whoever doesn't innovate, they're going to be left behind. So I've done a bit of work ahead of time. So my main... Uh, page builder is DV, as most of you know. So what I've done is I've created DV University. This is a community for those of you who are passionate about DV and want to be up to date with everything DV. So as we go into DV5, uh, DV6, and so on, and any other integrations or any updates from plugins that are going to announce that are working well with DV, I am going to be covering all of that. So DV University is, uh, is, is going to be a closed uh, membership where I share my courses, plugins, or anything to do with Divi. So at the moment, I have a special discount, uh, which is 50% uh, off. In fact, it's 70% off. The link to that is in the description below. So once you join this group, you are going to be pretty much up to date with anything Divi, as I mentioned. And you are going to have access to all the future courses, all the future uh, templates that I may create, and all the tools that make it easy for you to use WordPress as a tool to make money. So this is a community especially for that. Now, does that mean that I'm not going to be trying out other themes? No, absolutely not. I'm gonna be trying out Bricks Builder. In fact, I've been playing around with it. Uh, I think it's, a, it's got a steep learning curve, but it looks fantastic. So this is what I'm going to be doing. So if you want to uh, future-proof yourself, I would highly recommend you join Divi University you already have maybe a lifetime license or you have the uh, membership. This is how you're going to be up to date with uh, anything related to Divi. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I thought I'll just discuss this with you that the future is bright for WordPress. See you in another one.